And Wednesday, the 22nd, MBS were down 22 basis points early in the morning. Stocks lost about 20 right away in the morning. Bonds were gradually weaker and choppy trading overnight. UK bonds led the selling in European hours following a higher British CPI reading, which came in at 0.7 on a 0.5 forecast. MBS started in similarly weak territory, bounced a bit, and then we're now back down to the lows, down a quarter point on the day real early and just over an eighth of a point from the highs. Jumpy lenders who priced at the highs in the early morning were doing some negative reprices early. Powell scheduled remarks or adding to the weakness, but the testimony itself didn't start until later. Home builders have been on a tear this year despite all the pain in the mortgage market. The S&P Spider Home Builder ETF has outperformed the S&P 500 by 12% year to date. Home builders is an early stage cyclical industry which usually leads an economy out of recession. Investors are piling into the home building stocks in anticipation of a recession and rate cuts. Note that home builder KB Home reports it after the close today. Also, the Atlanta Fed bumped its quarter two GDP now estimate to 1.9% on strong housing starts number. Yet, their builder sentiment just keeps getting worse. Bunch of little crybabies. MBS are right at the Fibonacci S2 break on the charts in the morning. If it could hold there, we're going to see if we uh, confirm a range or find a new range. After clear rejection of the 3.72 floor in the 10 year overnight, bonds continued drifting into negative territory ahead of the Fed Chair, Fed Chair Powell's congressional testimony today. As the Q&A portion got out of the way, it soon became clear that there'd be no whammies. In other words, Powell wasn't saying anything that hadn't already been said last week. And the market's understanding of the Fed reaction function remains entirely appropriate. Yield stabilized an inch lower as a result. Better gains followed the strong 20-year bond auction at 1 p.m. with longer-term treasuries and MBS getting back to unchanged by close of business. At the end of the day, the MBS were up six basis points at 100.13. Stocks lost 23 points. So at that 100.13, we're still floating right around this S2 retracement seems to be a hinge point, but it does put us up into this range that we keep bopping into and then back down out of, which is bordered by a floor of the 25-day moving average at 99.906 with a pretty tough ceiling that isn't getting broken at 100.305. We also got news, and this is an update here. 91.8% of U.S. homeowners have a mortgage with an interest rate below 6%. That's down from a record high of 92.9. A tiny decline over the course of the year shows how rate lock has frozen existing homeowners in the tracks and why existing inventory is so limited. In fact, 82.4, that's 82.4% of mortgages have a sub 5% rate and 62% have a sub 4% rate and 23.5 have a sub 3% rate, which means that even if we get some pickup in rates, rates go down a point, a point and a quarter, there's no refinance boom coming. There's no fairy godmother, y'all. You just got to get out there and pound the 